Hey guys, it's Gavin here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Shopify blog articles and how to improve it for SEO purposes. Um, and to do this, we're going to be taking a look at this uh, data structuring tool and diving in into the theme code to make sure that some of the attributes and item properties are validated. And I'll show you guys how to test it out and what you can do to improve. Okay, so here we go. So this is the Shopify like blog post page. And as you can see here, I have the image, the featured image. And down here is a search engine listing preview. So this is just a meta file. And uh, this is pretty standard. This is just the meta properties. And if you want to go another level deeper, and this is what we're doing today, we're going to need to make sure that the item properties are set up. And what we're going to take a look at is um, the article item property for, for blog posts. So shima.org. I don't know what you call it or how you pronounce it, but this is the website to use for more attribution for search engine. And um, this website right here, it's uh, one of the Google search tool, like for the search console. Um, you enter in the website here and you run a test and it shows you what comes up. So in this, particular product uh, this is a product um, as you can see the organization shows up which is a website and the product shows up oh, okay. all right I think this is the preview okay yeah so this is the preview it shows up <laughs> this tool provides preview results on Google search best viewed on mobile devices. Okay, cool. Get five drone picks of your choice. So yeah, this is the preview of the actual product. Um, not everything has a preview. And as you can see, there's one error on it, which is a price. If you wanted, if we wanted more things to show up, like the URL or uh, the rating, like the star rating, we'd want to set this up and um, and this up. So if you want that stuff just to show up. If you have the other channels and the product is listed for the specific S SKU, you want this to show up somewhere around here. But right now the price isn't showing up and you can see here, Offer contents to to update that we would need to go over here to the products snippet product price oh wow it's it's its own snippet product template where are you product template there we go product template and we're going to need to find the price and find out why it's not showing up. So that's the image title. And by the way, I'm using the debut theme, which is a common, very common Shopify theme. Some of this other stuff is already set up. So cart add product select the product price should be around here somewhere. So here it is class item prop price. So this right here is not showing up for whatever reason, this item prop price. I'll just move it like that. And then I'll just put it right here 
we'll put another span on it which is an invisible container that's it's kind of like a div but still and then we're gonna test it one more time to see if this uh, if this price shows up okay so the price needs to show up inside offers this right here and it's not showing up inside offers looks like image image name price currency availability oh okay so there's this thing right here login to view price <laughs> that's why it's not showing up wow yeah that's not why it's showing up so that's that's on another video let's go back here to the blog and dive into that no okay let's not go there Okay, so this is the article liquid file. And as you can see here, I have the item prop publisher set up. Um, and also item prop author. You want all this to be set up item prop publish date, item prop article body. So to optimize, you want those things to show up. For sure, for sure, for sure. Um, let's see. I'll just view this right here. And once you do that, you want to copy your your blog article and then paste the link over here. And if it's not set up, there is a helpful Shopify article for some of these attributes. So as you can see here, the organization shows up. And there's one error and two warnings. So the headline, date published, image, article body, author, um, all those show up. And the only thing that's not showing up is the publisher. A value for the publisher field is required. So we want to fix that. Uh, and, uh, as you can see here, there's no, there's no preview. So there's only a preview on certain types of of, um, of, of products or and here on line 316 in the, in the Shima article inside here is where the publisher is supposed to be at. So value for publishers required uh this is how the blog looks like and we want to move that somewhere So what I'm doing right now is actually looking for this blog thing, this right here, so I can move it over here. And then I'll be looking at configuring the publisher. So here's the article body. I'm going to go here to article liquid. And depending on what kind of, what, like what kind of, um, Okay, here it is. I was having trouble with this a little bit earlier, so. Like I said, depending on what kind of theme you're having, it might look a little different. I just said that, and um, You can see here the authors showed up. There's that. So I'm just gonna paste this here. 
and I want this item prop publisher to show up here. Item scope organization. So you can see here, this website right here actually has all the information that you need to know about, well, most of the information about each attribute. So like aggregate rating, what I'm looking for now is for the publisher. Publisher imprint, publisher. So publisher is an organization or a person. Um, and if you look at it further, a person is live dead or fictional. <laughs> Use over 1 million domains. Cool. So I just remove this right here. It's organization, item scope organization. Oh, item type. Item type, not scope. Item type. I'm gonna save that. So. And now I'm gonna test it one more time to see if that publisher resolves and goes away. Okay, so I still have one error. The variable has an invalid value. The attribute publisher item type has an invalid item type. Okay, so publisher dot item type. Okay, so what I'm gonna need to do is go back here, item type, just to organization, like that, then item pop, publisher. Let's see if that works. Still an error. Publisher dot item type as an invalid attribute. Let's check it out. I'll try a person. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure what the trouble is here. If you know anything about this or how to, how to do this, comment below and um, while I try to figure this out and share, share your ideas. Cool. So here we go. Let's try it one more time. Do, 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 do. Okay. So the publisher is still not showing up, which is very strange, but the organization is showing up. Where is this organization showing up at? The organization is showing up here. On line 240. And the publisher is a thing. <gasps> How? <laughs> Why is it a thing? Why is this a thing? Strange indeed. It could be a thing because the article is a type article, the author is a type thing, the publisher is a type thing. Huh. I clearly have right here item type organization. But that didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. So I'm gonna try one more thing. I'll just go like that. And then span. Now I'll just add item scope
and I'm going to close it like that and then save it. And we can test that out. I put a container, this right here, I put this inside the item scope container and the item scope container is an organization. So we're going to test to see if that works out or not and see if this error goes away. Okay, so looks like two new things showed up, an organization showed up with no URL, an uns unspecified type showed up, unspecified type. And then the article publisher went away. Strange, very strange. Huh, yeah, so I'm kind of just stuck at that, guys. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of stuck at that. I'm, I'm sorry if this video is underwhelming. But um, I hope you found value to this video and uh, leave a comment below if you have any idea what the heck is going on here and how you had figured out or potentially figured out um, how to get the publisher working on the item scope article. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Um, just to review if you want to improve SEO, you need to set up and make sure that these attributes are outlined in your Shopify theme. If they're not, which is very likely, I suggest checking it out, um, checking the theme code. If, uh, if you have item prop headline, item prop date published, and you could do that by just going to this website, which I'll have the link for it below and pasting your code on here. And, um, and you should be able to tell what is being read by a search engines, in particular, the Google search engine and what is not. Thanks for watching guys. That is it for today. Have a nice day. See ya.